Wow, the video on this is just insane. What's up everyone? Today I'm going to install these Fortune Auto coilovers onto the STI. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to crawl on that cold ass floor and bust my knuckles on some bolts that just probably don't even want to come out, even though they should and they need to. All right, let's install these onto here. Yeah. Maybe later, it's kind of cold. Before I start on the car, I want to get a quick look at the ride height as it sits right now. This is stock. Um, hopefully, I want to go down at least an inch on the front and the back. But we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I've never done this before. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> First up, do that. I'm going to get some anti seize onto here. That way I, they don't lock up. It is super noisy out, so I'm using this wireless microphone. And you're going to hear Jersey Shore in the background. Just put some anti seize. Why aren't you focusing? We just put anti seize on this one, this one, this one, and this one. It took about 20 minutes, and I gotta say, these are made really well. God damn it. I got the poo on me. But yeah, they're made really well now. Just gotta get this car up on the jack stands. Remove the wheels. Fingers crossed. We have no bolts left over. Like it's never happened to you. Anyways. All right, let's get this car up in the air. I think for right now, uh, we're just gonna do the front. Undo, undo, undo. Pop the hood. Hey, pop the hood. Pop the hood? Pop the hood. I think that one, and that one, and those two. And I can't get it off because it doesn't want to come off. Because it's never been off before. And the first time in history. Oh, there we go. Now it's all off. While you're down here, it's a good time to inspect your brake pads. size difference of these they're just massive like super beefy they weigh like a hundred pounds too exaggerating I know but still hopefully I got this right but this goes to the back of the car points to the rear of the car Just put them in the wrong side.
So we got these in. These right here are 14 millimeters and you want to torque them down to 14 and a half foot pounds. The bottom on these big giant guys, you torque them down to 145. That's what I got them, okay? All right, now we can do the other side. But pro tip, don't undo these all the way. A little couple of threads on so they don't go falling out on you. Got it? All right, so onto this side. I'm gonna move all this stuff over to the other side. Let's do it. Set these to two and a quarter from here to here. I hope that's right. Let me go double check. All right, I had to take a second to let this camera go down because it's a Canon camera. Got these two in. This right here, the gap is two and a quarter. Yeah, two and a quarter from bottom or from top to the bottom, two and a quarter. All right, I got these two on, the bolts all tightened, tightened, tightened. Look at the size of those. We're gonna put the wheels back on, lower it down and see how it looks. Is it too low? No, not really. What do we think? I don't know. I love it. It's like so much better. Oh yeah, two fingers, two finger space. Two finger space is good. Two finger space is very nice. Let's see the other side. I don't know, I just think it looks so fucking cool. Oops. But whatever, I still think it looks so freaking cool. And now he's got to do the back. Yep, yep. All right. Well, I've been sitting here staring at it for about five minutes now, just sitting on the ground. And I'm like, damn, it looks good. But I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. But it does look good. I hate those wheels, but it does look good. Okay, turned around and the front, it looks good. I don't know how it rides yet. We're gonna find out. The back, well, the back I'm in the process of jacking up and we're gonna see how that goes. We're gonna put it on maybe tomorrow and see how it looks. install the back ones now I already went ahead and adjusted these so that they are one and a half inches on each side but it's also not as loud as it was outside because all my neighbors are outside so I have to use my wireless microphones these are the DJI mic there's an unboxing on my channel somewhere just taking out the trunk stuff the 
that I got right here. Two bolts. Those two go to the bottom shocks. And of course, there's one on the opposite side. We're gonna get into here. We're gonna unbolt these three. And I think that one, but I don't know. Probably not that one. It looks like just this one and this one and this one will just drop right down. Cool. Same with the other side. I also want to get rid of this exhaust, kind of. But it's functional, so who cares? Wasn't too bad, but it wasn't fun either. Now compare this one to the new one, and they're both kind of the same. I thought they're a little heavier, unless this arm is just, you know, buffer. But yeah, let's put this one in. Wait a minute. Does that look safe to you or not? Because to me right now, that looks pretty dang sketchy. Never had the car at that high before, I don't think. I mean, I've been high enough that high before, but I haven't been car at that high. I gotta stop washing the car in the garage because it's ruining my floor paint. Oh well. But yeah, look how high up this car is right now off the ground. Okay, halfway there. Luckily, this wasn't so hard to take apart in the first place. The main hard part was just figuring out what to take off and what not to take off. But only thing putting it back together is always a whole other story. So I'm gonna put you right here, just some light right there. Cross your fingers. This works. down and now I just gotta do the other side you know what here's something I did not think of open the door pull your seat down and your shocks are right here hey you know what you're welcome that's a pro tip all right yep there they are so now we're on to the other side those two trailer park girls who went around the outside. <laughs> I had it too. I was like, ooh, the nope. It's like way down in there somewhere. Fresh batteries. Right now we're just gonna do this other side. I'm gonna record, just do a time lapse and get it done. 39 o'clock at night.
They're one. There's always one. Finally got that bolt, those bolts out. That was just, you know there's just always one side that just wants to be a pain in the ass and you think it's gonna be the easiest side, but it's actually not the easiest side. It was that side. So now I'm just gonna bolt these up, start Kill Bill Volume 2, put these tires on, and I'm done for the night. I can't wait to see how it looks. There I am. I can't wait to see how it looks. On and I gotta pee so bad. I'll be back. It's but not, it's got to come down on the back for sure. side because this is a long day. There you go. What do you think? A little bit lower in the back? Dig it, we can dig it. Looks cool, looks cool. I know. Fucking floors. Get it set.
Good morning. All right, you know what? I'm done filming for now. I'll see you in the morning, but so far, I like how it looks. I think I'm gonna take it for a first drive tomorrow, but not tonight, because it's already 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock, and I'm tired. All right, peace out. Good night.